School safety is heating up here in Philadelphia. More than a dozen nonprofits that work with children are now weighing in on the matter. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabeo is live this morning outside of school district headquarters in Spring Garden with details on that story. Good morning, Jan. Janelle, good morning. 14 nonprofit organizations that work with children and their families here in the city of Philadelphia issued a statement yesterday urging Philadelphia teachers to go back to the classrooms. And then, once there, they're asking the teachers themselves to self assess, take a look at the building, assess the building conditions for themselves. And that statement has the Philadelphia Teachers Union firing back, calling the statement both disappointing and woefully misguided. Let's Take a look at the statement here. Jerry Jordan, president of the Philadelphia Federation of Teachers, says his members are afraid and they have every right to be. He issued a statement that reads in part, quote, to suggest that they should enter school buildings and evaluate the conditions themselves is truly astonishing. My members are not environmental scientists. It's insulting. Now, this all comes amid an already contentious battle over getting back to in person learning here in the school district of Philadelphia. Earlier this week, as many as 2,000 pre K and through second grade teachers were supposed to report to classrooms to begin planning for the return of students to hybrid learning. Instead, many educators rallied outside of dozens of school buildings across the city, saying it is still too unsafe to return to classrooms. The teachers' union says the school district has not done enough to implement proper safety measures at school buildings. Meantime, the city says teachers will not face any disciplinary action for not returning to school just yet. Mayor Jim Kenney addressed the issue. You're not going to be able to force people to go to work. I mean, especially in this environment, what we're going to do, we're going to send the police out to pick them up and take them to the classroom. We agreed to do a mediator, which we're doing. That's the process we're following. In the meantime, we're getting chopped to vaccinate people, I believe, starting on the 22nd. I try to get everybody a level of comfort and not do it, do it as in a contentious way. I think that. People can uh, prevent spread in schools if they follow safety precautions. So I don't think the vaccination is necessary for schools to be open. And that was Philly Health Commissioner Dr. Thomas Farley weighing in. Even though Farley says vaccines may not be necessary for the reopening of schools, the health department, in partnership with Children's Hospital, will be offering COVID vaccines to all school employees starting February 22nd. 20,000 doses will be provided to teachers and staff at CHOP and six Philadelphia school buildings for eight weeks. We will continue to follow this still developing story, but for now, we're live in Spring Garden, Jan Carabao. CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Back to you. Thank you, Jan. Appreciate it. Well, CBS News.